Hello everybody and welcome back. A couple of days ago I made a poll on my community tab for you guys to vote about which ad or performance you would like to see next. And I did not include crime and punishment and that was a huge mistake because literally everybody, everybody asked for crime and punishment. I will do the winner of that poll as well, of course, because I am literally obsessed with Addo, but I will do crime and punishment first because it was so incredibly asked for that I just cannot skip it. And honestly, I'm excited about it from what I've heard about it from you. So let's go. Let me also remind you about my Patreon very quick. Uh, there are quite a lot of Japanese performances there as well. So you can check them out and we vote monthly about the next things that I'm gonna react to on my Patreon. So if you want to see yours, definitely go and check it out. Let's go. So we only have visual for this one. We don't have live performance, which I would love to see this live, actually. This is very dramatic. Oh my god, okay. I was not ready. Okay, I'm gonna play it from the beginning because I wasn't already for that dramatic start. She also restricted her throat a tiny little bit, even though it's an extreme high for her natural voice. She restricted a tiny little bit to create a little bit of a fry there. Oh God. Oh my God. Oof. This is... Oh. I, I apologize I will have to go <laughs> at least one more time so she's using a couple of like a little focus vocal flips ah, that's a very typical one it's almost like a little bit of a it's not necessarily cry because cry would be situated more towards the end it's not a yodel because yodel would be between her chest and her uh head voice i know Otto loves this little tiny vocal flips and um the way she utilizes them in here is incredible she said i will put this in the forefront this is my this is my strength, this little embellishment that I do. And it adds so much drama. It feels so extreme and just cutting through. It's incredible. Oh my God, I have goosebumps. And the light went Really good chesty a pull. Really nice. I actually... I did a vibrato at the very end and she kept it really straight and clean. So she is doing the flip right into the fry. It's uh, it's not an unhealthy fry. This kind of extreme singing you can see with genres like metal. It, it's, it's, you know, it sounds extreme and sometimes it would sound even painful for the audience but uh if you do it well it's perfectly fine i think it was that extreme kind of element of it is that flip right into that fry it just shocks you it shocked me i'm still like i'm i'm wowed i'm floored that's why i'm speaking so fast beautiful fry You can feel the uh, throat closure. I've never been really comfortable with a fry uh, because I've been brought up in like super clean, super perfect singing with like uh, a lot of classical elements. So I know how to fry, but I'm still not 100% comfortable at all times. So I'm not gonna try to imitate you that, but that fry is beautiful. You can hear how she's uh, creating it with a throat closure, just a tiny little bit. 
it's more on the wet side of the fry and it's really 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 cool <laughs> I really appreciate her creating that contrast with its soft, soft, tiny little place in that song. It's just very short before she goes back into that intense place. But th at least the beginning, she started to really create a contrast with it. And also the song gets very, very melodic in that place particularly. So it's creating contrast on many levels. I really love that slide. Uh, the slide slides are fantastic for voice. You can get into incredible places with your voice through slides, right? But they do have a little bit. If you utilize them properly, they can feel like a relaxing element in that uh, in the singing, right? So if you had that really high tension moment and then you finish the phrase like. It's just creates a little bit of a diffusion of that stress, of that tension, right? And um, you can notice it on many, 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 many good singers that they do this kind of little technique. And I love it because it feels like you've just been through something and then <sighs> letting go, getting a little bit of breath through. She's utilizing the little slide there. Ta it's so good. It's not even really, really, really difficult to do for singers like Ado. Like this is not something that she would struggle with, but it is just a good idea. You have a lot of great singers that do have a lot of technical knowledge. They know how to do stuff, but they do not know how to utilize it. And Ado is not scared to throw a lot of things on the table and in her performance it just makes sense it's strong it is definitely attention consuming and is it's really incredible so having that flip into that slide the way she sings it is just a brilliant idea <laughs> reminds me a lot of Debbie Harry from uh, the rock band Blondie. They're an older band, maybe a lot of people will not remember them and won't know about them, but definitely go give them a listen. You're gonna realize where the roots of this style of singing are coming from. The fry that she's using is very similar to what Debbie used when she was the um, lead singer in Blondie. Um, it is, I, I like her dosage. There are places that she could use it and she did not. And then at the very end, you can really completely deconstruct your voice into just pure heavy fry. And that's what she did. It was very dramatic. And I honestly, I loved it. It was like if you're playing a violin and then you like just scratch through those strings and you get this overwhelming, powerful feeling from it. A little tremble and her was ah, just very lightweight, very, 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 very emotional. Ah, 
that slide. I'm sorry. I'm going to replay that because I don't want to stop every five seconds. I am so sorry for that. But she does something interesting literally every five seconds. Um, that slide, she also built a dynamic. I really like it. She went into more twangy upper part of that. Jumping ahead was Her flips can be super extreme. She's definitely singing for for the performance of value. It was recorded in a studio, so this is not a live performance. I would love to see this live, even though I'm, like, I'm kind of scared to see this live. But at the same time, I would be excited to see this performance live. But it is definitely like a unique take. She maybe went a little tiny bit overboard, but for the sake of the effect, right? If you if you really want to achieve this kind of like overwhelming shocking value from from the song you really have to go all in and she really did i love the flips the flips are not actually something that um would normally be so unusual really a lot of singers are using them but not the way that she does she's putting a lot of impact on them a lot of attention directing to them A lot of movements here. I just really have to also say that her fry is so controlled. Honestly, she's using it in a very fast pace. Um, especially the flip needs to be clean so the flips are very clean there is just no resemblance of the fry there but she's immediately going there <laughs> This particular like air phrases, especially because you can get a tiny little bit of a twang in, are so nice to fry. And she got that little crowy sound in that fry. <sighs> I love the airy tones here. <laughs> Ooh, the instrumental is incredible too. I have goosebumps everywhere she ended up with such like the whole song ended up with so much tension that oh well normally we've got like towards the end of the song we always get a release we always get that settled down feeling that the song is ending the performance is done and they went for a complete opposite they build up the entire tension for you and then cut you off oh this that's an experience wow okay so first and foremost i know a lot of people are going to be upset that i stopped so much so if you do want to listen to this full performance on its own definitely go watch it in its full length without me interrupting i it was just so much to talk about and so much <laughs> so much to listen to and so many details this was an incredible performance so if you do want to hear it in its entirety absolutely go now watch it support it it's incredible thank you so 
so so so much for recommending me this performance i hope you enjoyed it again i apologize for stopping so much but that was an overwhelming experience uh go and listen to it in its full length and uh and yeah if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe right here here is another ado video that you can go watch and here is rest of my japanese reactions please stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time